Okay, hey Tim, how's it going here? Uh, this is Chris. Um, so, I'm just going to do this private video for you, just kind of quickly trying to explain some of the uh, superheroes and villains that I have going here. Um, since I'm quite pressed for time this week, but want to get this into you. Um, and then I have two different pieces of paper drawings here that I'll um, try to scan and send to you tomorrow night. So you get them before Thursday. Okay, so let's try to quickly just kind of give some kind of expl explanation for these uh, heroes. So I decided to try to make it kind of a uh, family fun project and um, just get some input from my uh, son, which is three of course. So a lot of the ideas came from, from him and I just kind of molded them and shaped them and, and uh, see where it went. And also from the wife as well, uh, from her input. Um, and then this is what we got. So it all kind of starts with um, the character, Nikki's character here. This is basically like our family if we were superheroes, I guess. And just making it goofy and fun. <clears throat> but uh, Mysteria. And uh, the family ended up being based, um, their powers based in magic. Mysteria <clears throat> coming from an age long, long time ago, probably medieval. Um, and was from another, from a, from a group or a guild of uh, um, magic-based uh, people um, which were fighting a uh, one certain villain which I'll get into afterwards um, but then she's here now in the now times basically and she was able to uh, have a family um, the husband here whose uh, superhero name is Titan was a normal person but when she fell in love with him um, and then she ended up uh, kissing him and uh, endowing him with um, super uh, abilities which uh, are for him to be agile and uh, some strength. Um, Mysteria, she's just basically almost anything you can kind of think of, uh, you know, powers of, of, a, of a sorceress. Um, and uh, one of her things too, underneath her costume here, she does have tattoos, and uh, those tattoos are also um, have a mystic power with them. Each, ta each tattoo has some kind of power spell behind it, so whether it be a protection spell or whatnot. Um, so that's why each character also, their their face masks kind of look they have, like they have some kind of markings or a tattoo on them. But underneath their clothing, um, she has tattoos. So her costume is all like this deep purple color, head to toe. Um, and her face mask here, all her hair is coming out. But her face mask, um, I know right now it kind of looks like a, like a, a kiss kind of mask. But uh, the markings on the face, think of it as like a uh, Mardi Gras mask. And also one of her powers is to also is to have a, a, a voice that is so, I don't know, what, what would you say? Um, a voice that sets people into a trance. So uh, kind of like a siren, you know, just with a voice. She kind of just puts people in a daze, in a trance. Um, so that's one of her main powers, but she'd be very sneaky and off to the sides, using all her magic and kind of fighting from a distance, and more stealthy. And of course, you got Titan here, and if since he has uh, you know powers of being agile and strong, of course he works kind of as a tank. But since it's kind of my character, I'd be more close in um, and fighting, um, using a lot of uh, grappling techniques. Um, and so his costume here, the cape, oh I forgot to mention hers, her kind of half cape that I drew here is just kind of like this, I don't know what ladies would call it, but <laughs> just over the back here, if you can see there, that'd be kind of a green color. Uh, my colors, the cape would be red, the accents, the tattoo accents on the hood would be red, the rest would be like all black, head to toe. Uh, but also on the cape here, it also have these pieces that come up and attach to the belt so that acts when need be say when leaping from building to building or from tall places um, it could the cape can end up acting like a parachute so to help them just kind of glide through the city as well um, if need be and yeah living in a city um, so then we have the sun over here he was born with power so he was he actually has the powers they weren't uh, bestowed upon him or anything he was he was birthed and, and um, has power um, in him. So we called him Zippy. Um, so this would be like Logan's character. Basically the same kind of costume as I have. 
um, but different markings on the face and he'd be and he has his staff to help him but he's very agile too he's very strong very strong um, can uh, you know pick up large you know like strong enough to pick up a car basically um, but he's uh, very acrobatic and quick and he he would be bouncing all over the place and he'd be more um, um, you know jovial uh, in how he acts um, and then uh, and then we have our our dog here Kano he'd be the the Kano the canine of chaos um, and uh, Mysteria would have given him powers as well and uh, he would have very strong teeth, according to Logan, and uh, so a very powerful bite, but also a, a, a percussive um, bark. So very, uh, you know, percussive bark, able to you know shatter the ground and blast through walls and things like that, and knock over enemies. So they would always be teaming up. Um, Zippy and and Kana would always be together. Basically, Kana would be his protector as well. Um, Okay, so we got that. So then the villain, hopefully that's enough information. Um, so the main villain, and uh, here's some of the backstory, and their, their, their main nemesis right here. This is Orc, or THE Orc. Very large, tall, you know, thinking like a 10 foot, um, uh, he's, he, I don't know what you call it, like just very hairy beast. He's, he's, you know, a large orc. I mean, that's what Logan named him. <laughs> and then uh, Nikki said, say orc with a K. So, but just very tall, very powerful, just a heavy, heavy, um, you know, stomping beast of a, of a bad guy. Um, so the background for him and why he would be the, the nemesis of uh, our uh, family of heroes here is uh, again going back to mysterious time he would have been a, a warlord back in his time but he was very you know um, you know strong man but thin um, but strongly built and very smart and cunning and and commanded legions of, of goblins and trolls but despised them very much as well just used them without um, any care to them as well so very cruel uh, tyrant and basically he was taking over the lands of where Mysteria lived and uh, eventually Mysteria and the group of uh, uh, some of the other wizards that she was uh, in a guild with was uh, finally able to defeat him but they took away his sword and uh, they couldn't completely destroy him but they pulled all of his essence um, of what made him that ruthless tyrant and put him into put it into the sword so you know say his his how he was before you know looking like a normal person being slim and uh, some of his his mind took away some of his mind from him so now he's just kind of a you know half-wit beast <laughs> of sorts but uh, where he would be is in his mind is where when he's trying to think of something, he's he's just not quite there. Like you can kind of remember how he used to be, but not. You know, when you forget a name and it's on the tip of your tongue, his mind is always in that kind of haze. Um, so he kind of gets things, but he doesn't, and he kind of has knows he has to go back for his sword uh, to get back all of his power. Um, so and since he uh, used orcs and trolls and goblins and all that kind of thing and commanded them. Um, you know, in the medieval days, and he didn't like them, didn't treat them very well, basically. Um, this was part of that punishment as well, um, him becoming kind of like this large, the king of orcs, the orc, um, as well. So he still holds the sheath, though, and he uses this as a weapon, though this would be the sheath of his old weapon. So he's very large, he's got fangs, his hair on top, it'd be very hard and kind of, um, slick back but also very spiky and pointy and hard so when he rams things he can uh, bust them up too but you know impale people basically on his on his hair uh, he's got kind of just this gross brown skin lots of hair lots of fur he's wearing this uh, leather um, you know belt with these large other large uh, leather pieces in front and then like a fur um, loincloth underneath 
and all this hair on the arms and everywhere. So that's why um, Orc would be their, their nemesis. So they always have to protect the sword, the Orc sword, um, so that he doesn't gain back his power and be able to basically take over um, the world or uh, you know the land nowadays. So there we go. So hopefully that's enough information um, for you, Tim. Hopefully you can kind of put that all together into our uh, um, YouTube comic book community um, <laughs> universe that we're making here. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I'll just try to scan these as well for you uh, tomorrow and uh, send them to you. I know they're so rough, not hardly what I could probably come up with, but, but it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I do kind of like how Orc turned out though. I thought that was kind of neat. Alright, so that's that Tim. I'm going to get out of here and hope you like it and I'm really looking forward to this uh, project coming together and see what really uh, really what happens with it. Another awesome, fun community project Tim. Talk to you later. Bye.